Coach Jimmy here with Kira Christine. This girl is energy in a bottle. I think I just found like my spirit animal. She's gonna talk to us a little bit about finding your tribe and just being weird with people like you. Stay tuned. So thankful for social media because they're even like the biggest city in the world and I can't find anybody around me that wants to do this and that was about the time like Facebook started taking off and everything and so I was just like well if I can't find them locally because at least you have people here locally that yeah. you know you're finding but you, there is it's like there's somebody's weird as us in the same way that we're weird or different 100%. or whatever no, yeah yeah yeah. I told, so the, the way yeah. I talk, so it's so funny we just met today, but like the way yeah. I tell people that, because I say the same thing, um, is that I say like we all vibe at different energies. Yes. And like there's certain people that you meet in your life that you can hold a conversation with. I know that I talk very fast. I know that I'm super high vibe and I have a high energy. Right. I come off very weird to people. Oh. I get that. Unless if you meet you another person like me. My energy. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like when you're super excited, you're super animated, right. and then someone else is like. Yes. Right, like you give them anxiety, <laughs> they go to the CBD yeah. oil, and then they're done, right. It's like talking to my dad, like we are like complete opposite oh, people. Really? Like, so I always demo that, I'm like, okay, I have to reach everyone. Because everyone's like niche down, I'm like, no, no. My niche is that I can touch everyone because I'm really awkward. So I can right. be that small. <laughs> I can match yeah. that small And then energy. match them? Yeah, yep. I mean, that's what you have to do. So it's nice, because like everyone coming to the booth is so different. Yeah. And like she's super hype, and like all my girlfriends here are super hype, but I feel like I have the compassion enough to be like, I'm not forgetting you. Oh yeah, like. Small awkward girl in the corner, I love you too, <laughs> right? That's my client down. <laughs> Come meet your friends, that's So my what friends. do you feel is like the biggest key to finding that tribe? Making space for them. Make a space for making them. Making space for them. Okay. Because to me, it was it was impossible to find friendships in, like, for girls. I mean, and you may, might have this too. I'm right. not really sure if men have the same issue, but, like, I never had a best friend. Okay, yeah. Like, I had, a, like, a good group of friends, and it was always, like, three or four. It right. It was never the big group. Yeah. Because I always felt so judged. Like, I was not the cute kid. Like, I was a little chunky. Yeah. And, like, you know, I had my Tommy kind of, what is it called? Coming of time, time You're of coming of whatever. Coming out party? Come, coming of age? Like, coming of age. Coming right? of age. Yeah, I'm like, what is that for? Videographer wins. <laughs> but when you like, you know, like, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm cute. Like, yeah. at some point when I was like in high school and like getting older, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of pretty, whatever. Oh, and right. then, like, you, you, like, you own it? Yeah, right. I'm like, okay, I can, like, I guess do this, whatever. But I said the same thing when I was talking about the weight loss. Yeah. Because I didn't see myself the way somebody else saw me. So I never saw myself as attractive or growing up like, wait, so even when, like, you this felt the changed, from other people all the time. But even this changed, like, it didn't change. Mm -hmm. Here, right, and so it did. Finally, there's somewhere you have to go. Oh, I am attractive, or I do do this well, yeah. or whatever. But I think that's so key. So you make a space for them, and anything else to like. How'd you get them to come out? Like, was it initially like, here's for all the hype fitness people, or was it a slow? Roll? It is slow. Well, that's the thing. So babes, so I've only been around a year. It's just me. Okay. And um, my whole like, I come from. I did event planning for two years in college, okay. and I was like, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I was like, wait, brides suck. Yeah. <laughs> so then. I came out here and I'm like, I love health and fitness right. and like it's changed my life and it empowers me and that's the part of it I want to share is yeah. like the empowerment of like, I feel fucking good. Yes. Like, I'm super strong. Endorphins super are fun. Great. Yeah. Right. Like, but also there's a huge aspect to me that like, I think what makes me different is I'm not some twig. Mm -hmm. And so like, I'm never going to be that like perfect element of like look of fitness okay. because like, that's Whatever what that is, for, but that's the thing. Right. It's like so, there's all these people, and I feel like the average woman, because yes. again, we market to women. Dudes can be babes too. We allow guys to come. I'm not exclusive. Got gotcha. you. Um, Let's keep not can be a babe. Yeah, too, so everyone's a babe. Um, but we market <laughs> to women in the space of like. Health is not a size, fitness is not a, a certain look. Right. Everyone can come and it doesn't okay. matter your fitness level, it doesn't matter where you are in your health journey. That, so much. that you can come and be a part of this because I have people from 18 to like 60 attend my events. Isn't that amazing. And it's just, that's when everyone's like niche down, I'm like no, 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 no. Come, come. This is my, and that's how, like my team and the people that I work with, we, I call ourselves the island of misfit toys because there isn't a type. We have men, women, it's everything's different. Okay, that's just amazing. because I know he's been filming this whole time, you have to tell people how to find you. Yeah, where can we look at Because it's all in about my YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah, so this is I'm with Babes Who Sweat. My name is Kira Christine. You can find me online uh, or on Instagram, I guess. But Babes Who Sweat is a fitness community here in San Diego. You can look for the Sweat series all across the nation. We are launching it live. Uh, November 4th in DC is our first one out of San Diego. Nice. Yay!